Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Bing! If you've ever talked about lag or latency, you may hear, what's your ping time? And ping is really an old sonar term from the Cold War when you were in a sub and you'd go ping and you'd listen for the echo to come back and over the sonar you'd hear ping again as the echo and that was how you judged how far away something was. Ping on the network actually works the same way. You send a packet out to a server. It says, hey I got your packet, here's a response of the same packet and you time how long that took, and that's your ping time. Ping can be used for a lot of different things in diagnosing a network. If you send 10 pings and only four of them come back, you know that the network is lossy, it's losing data. Ping can also be used as a way to test latency of the network and latency at different sizes. If you have a network that has a per packet time of 10 milliseconds and a packet size of 8 bytes. You can do an 8 byte ping in 10 milliseconds and you can do an 80 byte packet in 80 milliseconds. But if the throughput on that network is such that you have 100 megabits, sending a 100 megabyte ping will take eight seconds. And so you can then do calculations based on how long it takes the packet to go from point A to point B at the smallest size, but also how long it takes a packet of a larger size to go from point A to point B. This gives you the sense of both throughput and latency. So ping is not just how latent is your network, but it's also a function of how fast. You can have a very fast network that has very high latency, or you can have a very low latency network that isn't very fast. And ping will let you determine each of those metrics.